everybody, Dr. Court bringing you another 90 seconds of knowledge and today we're going to be talking about changes in gait associated with cognitive decline or mild cognitive impairment in Alzheimer's disease. A recent study came out in which they analyzed gait or the way we walk and compared it to uh, the ability to maintain healthy brain function and what they found is that as our brains begin to go down and we start to see changes in cognitive function the earliest signs are often changes in the way we walk. We slow down our uh, stride length shortens up and that may be an early predictor of uh, ominous things to come in terms of cognitive ability. Now what they did was they, they tested these individuals, they had them walk, they measured stride length and pace and several other parameters, and they had them do something called dual tasking. So this is an attempt to uh, have the brain do two things at once. So while they're walking, they have them count backwards by sevens, for example, or uh, name animals out loud. Uh, and what this does is it forces the brain to do a couple of things at one time. And people who have cognitive decline will have more trouble with that. So this gives uh, physicians an, uh, an opportunity to look at these things in the office and perhaps more early and more uh, earlier and read and more readily identify the people who may go on to develop dementia. So what does this mean practically for us in our lives? Well, we need to keep moving. Our brains, our motor systems, the things that allow us to move are tied directly into our cognitive systems. So physical exercise, that is the one thing we know we can do and count on 100% to reduce our risk of developing Alzheimer's disease or another dementia. So make sure you stay very, very active, eat a very healthy diet, and if you have any questions, we'll be happy to answer them.